called it the most important water town in China, and it has been listed as a candidate for World Cultural Heritage status. Luzhou, 10 kilometers to the southeast of Suzhou city center, is actually now part of the city's Wuzhong district. Legend has it, the town got its name from the six rivers which flow through the town. The town is today represented most clearly to most people by the costumes and accessories of its women folk. No one can fail to find them quite striking. This style of dress is peculiar to Wuzhou and its surroundings. Because of the unique attire and accoutrement style, the local women have earned the unusual distinction of being accorded their own ethno-cultural group. To the south of Wuzhou lies Chang Lake. Everything about the women's garb was derived from this water-bound environment. Indeed, the earliest history of their town is preserved at the very bottom of the lake. In 1974, a land reclamation project by local farmers unearthed a series of old wells and pottery artifacts in the formerly inundated soil. <laughs> Some of the wells were dated to 6,000 years ago. The site was one of the earliest settlements in the area. Among the relics at the bottom of the lake, the archaeologists found items identified as being from Yaochong. Two and a half thousand years ago, the city of Yaochong was a possession of the rulers of the state of Wu. When the Wu state was conquered by the state of Yue, the settlement continued under its new masters. The locals' customs are said to have originated at this time. The story goes that King Fu Cai and his favorite concubine, Shi She were its inventors. Yu 大家可以猜来这个新鲜的荷叶over the town's 25-year hundred history since then, a complete local clothing style developed based on the influence of its watery location. Yan Huan Wen is a walking encyclopedia of local history. He says Lu Zhe started to boom in the Tang Dynasty around the 8th century. 300 years later, it became an important distribution center for food and artisan-made goods. The town further prospered in the Ming Dynasty, growing to around 10,000 inhabitants in the 16th century. By the Qing Dynasty, it had become a major commercial center. Yan's passions is collecting historic artifacts from the area, 
especially women's costumes and accessories. After 50 years of collecting, he has amassed over 100 costumes from the late Qing and Republican eras. Oh, 就知道你这姑娘多少年纪 what Yan Huan Wen has collected records the secret codes of the Lu Zhou woman folk. Besides the dresses, there are exquisite embroidered shoes, objects which can rarely be found today. 龙宋妇女穿的凉鞋鞋印就构成了一句叫人定性旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺旺
national heritage status after the founding of New China. Luzhou is a town where all forms of aesthetics are prized. Its citizens feel their lives enriched by their ancient heritage. As examples of a much celebrated living tradition, the town has an institute where the old craft techniques are preserved and studied. Zhou Minzhen, the institute's manager, explains how the elements of the local costume come together. This 然后配上花布，特别是这一条叫西香滚边，它非常讲究。这样子花布跟蓝色之间，通过这个白色的西香滚边，然后把它给添置无缝的连接在一起。Women's costumes vary according to the wearer's age. Young girls' dresses are elaborate and highly embroidered. More mature ladies usually wear darker colors. The costumes are loose and comfortable, while the bold contrasting colors, the exquisite handwork, and fitted tailoring all flatter the figure. The triangular headcloth of women in Lu Zhe is also typical of Watertown costumes. Mrs. Gong at the Training Institute demonstrates how it's done. 婆婆有多大岁数了？十一零七的脸，十四米零七的腰。啊，七十二岁高龄啊。哎，那您很小的时候就会盘这个包头了吧？从小，十一岁就开始学这个。十一岁，十四岁。啊，在她的母亲和
，头上这边还有两个这个。呃，流苏。流苏啊。<笑>给这是见牛吃鹅，给这牛在一起啊，两个头毛。哦，还有这样四个。这个是在海湖水分那个啊。嗯，你海湖水分的。是这个阿姨的奶奶传给她，传家宝的。你就亲了我一点刺。这是一个凤凰，我看出来了，是吧？还给照的王爷。嗯，真好看。好吃哦。我能想象到后面的木花，特别想看一下后面是什么样子。漂亮，漂亮，漂亮，漂亮吗？让让让。Every stitch represents a labor of love. This is what gives the Mujer embroidery its special meaning. But the embroidered finery is not the exclusive right of the woman folk. Children's costumes are also made in the same intensely worked style. Mrs. Gong has another heirloom to show. Novelist Aileen Chang said everyone lives in his or her clothes. The costumes of the Lu Zhu women are a vivid example of the way in which clothing can symbolize and perpetuate a popular spirit. Another famous author, journalist and educationalist, Ye Sheng Tao, said of the Lu Zhu women and their costumes that it gave them an alluring, vital beauty. But as well as being objects of aesthetic pleasure, the costumes were designed to be practical in the working lives of the Watertown women. The area around the town abounds in a type of water lily called the foxnut or gorgon plant, whose seeds are harvested for Chinese medicine. Zhong Min San explains. We have the water water and the water water is from this type of farming. 你比如说头上这个包头，如果不把它这个盘起来，不鼓上这个包头，你现在穿这个劳动的时候就很不方便，头发会蓬松下来。头发就会掉下去。对，你扎了这个包头，一方面固定了这个头发，另外还可以防晒。这样你晒不到，我就晒得那么乌黑了。啊，原来这个包头是这样的功能、啊。<笑>对对。那我呃底下穿的这条裙子它有什么功能呢？你这个蜀裙弯腰了之后，你就可以一方面是使劲。第二个方面还不容易走光啊！你穿着的这个平脊衫，又名叫冠肩头，就是补丁衣。哦。哎，在劳作的时候有几个关节部位容易磨损，就是换上新的布，就构成了这样意式的平脊衫。嗯，我看见这个袖子这个地方就有一。哎，袖口一般是横系的，像你是长得瘦，一般的妇女就是下水田，只要往上一拉，这个袖口就不容易脱落，便于劳动。Lu Zhu is now one of the biggest towns in the region. It has developed a thriving economy based on farming of aquatic vegetables. The eight aquatic vegetables are eight unique aquatic plants: gorgon fruit, water bamboo, lotus root. Cress, arrowhead, water chestnut, red caltrop, and water shield. Wang Longchuan farms the Lu Zhe paddy fields in a tradition that goes back centuries. These water-grown plants each ripen in successive seasons. Right now, it's harvest time for the water bamboo. 漂白就是水八仙嘛，肯定都长在水里的。对的，嗯，我现在采下来了啊。哎呀，要我来帮您吗？哎呦，就是在这里面吗？哦，剥到白颜色的时候，这一块就是可以吃了。哎，对。嗯，前面这些也都不要。不要的，哎。那其实我们吃的也就是它根部的这一点，就是吃吃那个一段颜色，这个呢是四月椒，四月椒，就一个月就，那还是很快的
产量，一般来说呢，眉毛产量呢都是在三千斤到四千斤左右。哦，那产量还是很大的。For thousands of years, Changwei has been at the center of a farming civilization. Now, a model modern water farm has been established here. At its heart are the fields dedicated to the celebrated eight aquatic vegetables. These plants make fortunes for the farmers and townsfolk alike. Water chestnuts in spring. Lotus roots in summer, arrowheads in late autumn, and cress in winter. Water bamboo ripens from March to October. Water vegetables are never out of season. When cooking these aquatic vegetables, the key is to try to preserve their original flavor. What kind of feeling? Very warm. 是的，它这个胶白呢，一个是嫩，这个呢吃下去呢甜甜的感觉。那么这个呢就是水煮鸡头米，其实这个吃法呢是最最具有本色的了，因为它保留了这个鸡头米纯真的一种味道，你可以尝一尝。In the old days, people said Lu Zhu women wore lotus flower blue blouses and arrowroot pink skirts. This is undoubtedly the sort of local color which indelibly enriches the traveler's experience. Luja is itself like a flower. Floating on Chong Lake, and fragranced by its native's fine appreciation of beauty. Embroidery, architecture, and cuisine are all just the material expressions of an indomitable spirit that has flourished for centuries and will continue to do so for centuries to come.